dear students uh, today we are going to study the landau theory of phase transition as we know that uh, the phase transitions are of two types uh, one is the first order transition and second is the second order transition as uh, uh, we have an experience uh, when we uh, when material changes from solid to liquid and liquid to gas then there is a control parameter which is the temperature when we change the temperature then material changes from one phase to another phase and uh, and uh, if we uh, saw over there uh, when uh, we give some heat to change the temperature then uh, uh, that during the melting that there is a latent heat is required that is uh, uh, the uh, um, process is not directly uh, shift of the material from one phase to another phase with the uh, with the providing that energy so it means uh, uh, those materials which have uh, which changes from one state to another state uh, carry some latent heat the, those type of the transitions are known as the first order transitions while if the transition is just like um, uh, a normal conductor to superconductors a uh, superconductor to normal conductors and ferromagnetic to param paramagnetics these transitions are actually continuous transitions and uh, there is no uh, such type of latent heat involved when the material changes from one phase to another phase for example when materials uh, uh, changes from uh, uh, one crystal structure to, a, to another crystal structure then these type of changes are actually those changes, those changes which are uh, known as the uh, second order transitions uh, dear students uh, here uh, uh, the parameter which is going to change here that is the temperature is the actually uh, control parameter and the main parameter uh, which is governing the things here when uh, phase changes from solid to liquid and liquid to gas that is the number density the number density here is not changes continuously when material changes from solid to liquid and liquid to uh, gas state uh, uh, while in the case of uh, uh, ferroelectric uh, ferroelectrics and uh, paraelectrics the uh, the control parameter is the magnetization and uh, while the uh, in the case of ferroelectric to paraelectrics the control parameter is the polarization uh, here that mm, if the polarization is uh, changes continuously uh, then the transition is second order while if uh, changes discontinuously that is the first order transition so uh, we can say that uh, the ferro the change of the ferroelectrics to paraelectric may be sometime uh, second order transition and sometimes maybe first order transitions a ferroelectric with a first order between the ferroelectric and paraelectric state is distinguished by discontinuous change of the saturation polarization at the transition temperature the transition between normal and superconducting state is a second order transition In these uh, transitions, the degree of order goes to zero without a discontinuous change as the temperature is increased. Uh, we can obtain a co consistent formal thermodynamics theory of the behavior of uh, ferroelectric crystals by uh, consider considering the form of the expansion of energy as a function of polarization P. Now, uh, we assume that the Landau free energy density F in one dimension may be expanded formally as actually uh, this is the function of pressure temperature and energy uh, we can uh, change uh, by adjusting pressure and temperature uh, mm, the air con the control parameter we can uh, change the transition by increasing pressure or temperature we can change the uh, uh, transition temperature uh, the mm, lander free energy is the function is equal to minus EP here P is actually the polarization and plus G dot plus 1 by 2 G to P square plus 1 by 4 G 4 uh, and uh, P 4 P power 4 plus 1 by 6 G 6 P power 6 plus so on. Uh, here this is series uh, contains only the uh, even terms uh, even power terms the odd power terms are not included in this uh, the expansion of the series where the coefficients g n depend on the temperature the series does not contain terms in odd powers of p if the unpolarized crystal has a center of inverse symmetry 
the value of p in thermal equilibrium is given by the minimum of f as a function of p the value of f at this minimum defines the helm helm holds free energy that is function of f temperature and energy the equilibrium polarization polarization in an applied electric field e satisfies the extreme condition uh it means uh, at the extreme extreme or boundary conditions the change in the uh, helmholtz free energy uh, it will be equal to zero it means partial f partial p should be equal to zero uh, uh, zero is equal to minus e plus uh, g2 p plus g4 p q plus g6 p5 plus so on this is the equation number 2 this is the derivative of the equation number 1 and uh, by fulfilling the uh, boundary conditions the derivative should be equal to zero to obtain the ferroelectric state we must suppose that the coefficients of the terms in p square in equation 1 passes through zero at some temperature t not so g2 is equal to gamma of t minus t not Where gamma is the taken as positive constant and T naught may be equal to or lower than the transition temperature. Actually, T naught, uh, if we uh, by adjusting the pressure or temperature, uh, so that the transition may be changed by their normal transition temperature. That is, the act actually the material is going to change from one phase to another phase, means superconducting to normal conductor or uh, ferroelectric to paraelectric or um, or ferromagnetic to paramagnetic. Uh, then uh, that is that uh, actual transition temperature T naught, and uh, uh, while uh, the critical temperature is the temperature where actually uh, there uh, the both uh, materials have the same uh, energies and the function is continuous. Where gamma is taken as positive constant, T naught may be equal to or lower than the transition temperature. A small positive value of G two means that the la lattice is soft and close to the instability. the negative value of g2 means that the unpolarized lattice is unstable second order transition if g4 in equation 1 is positive nothing new is added by terms g6 uh, it means if g4 is negative then there is no need to uh, extend Uh, the other uh, terms uh, we can uh, avail uh, study with the only two terms uh, just like in uh, this way other terms can be neglected the polarization for zero applied electric field is found from equation 2 uh, by uh, by the derivative of the second uh, which is uh, uh, attained in second equation uh, we take equal uh, extremum condition equal to zero G two P S plus G four P S cube is equal to zero. P S here stand for the polarization of second order, and uh, as the G two is equal to gamma of T minus T naught, uh, here gamma is the constant. Using this value in third equation, we get gamma of T minus T naught into P S plus G four P S cube is equal to zero, and uh, by taking the P S common, we get this one. Here P S is equal to zero, or gamma of T. Minus T naught plus G four P S square is equal to zero. Then G four P S square is equal to minus gamma of into T minus T naught is equal to gamma of T naught minus T. And uh, by uh, sh shuffling the values, we get uh, negative with the negative cancelled. And P S square is equal to gamma of by G four into T naught minus T. Now there are two cases. One is the if the T equal or greater than T naught. Uh, when t equal or greater than t naught, the only real root of equation three is at p s is equal to zero. Where gamma and g four are positive, thus g t naught is the Curie temperature. And uh, second, if t less than t naught, when t less than t naught, the minimum of the Landau free energy is zero. Applied field is at p s magnitude is equal to gamma by g four uh, under root t minus t naught in root. Uh, then we Uh, from the previous question, we got the PS magnitude value and uh, plotted against the T by T C. Uh, we have seen over there uh, the polarization uh, here, which is the uh, control parameter of the uh, ferroelectric to uh, paraelectric transition. 
going to change continuously and uh, the polarization uh, becomes zero continuously and there is no discontinuity as plotted in the figure from graph we see that the phase transition is a second order transition because polarization goes continuously zero at the ta transition temperature e.g. LITO3 is the second order transition and first order transition the transition is first order if G4 is negative must now retain G6 and take it positive in order to restrain F from going to minus infinity now if G4 is negative then we have to uh, take the next term also we have to include the next term also uh, to avoid uh, uh, become the energy equal to minus infinity uh, the equilibrium condition for E is equal to 0 is given by now the second equation uh, by, by carrying the three terms here G2 PS minus G4 magnitude PS cube plus G6 PS5 is equal to 0 Here uh, we got gamma of t minus t naught ps minus g4 uh, ps q plus g6 ps5 is equal to 0. Here g4 actually negative. Uh, now taking the ps common we get equation a uh, by using here g2 value in the in the previous equation. At the transition temperature Tc the free energies of the paraelectric and ferroelectric phases will be equal. That is the value of f for ps is equal to 0 will be equal to the value of f at the minimum given by the equation a as shown in the figure uh, for barium titanate the dielectric constant is calculated from the equilibrium polarization in an applied electric field e and is given by uh, 0 is equal to e plus g2 p plus g4 p q plus g6 p5 plus 1 and uh, e is equal to uh, g2 p plus g4 pq plus g5, g6 p5 here in equilibrium at temperature over the transition the terms in p4 and p6 may be neglected so e is equal to g2 p uh, we can get by using the value gt g2 e, e is equal to uh, gamma of t minus t naught into p uh, this graph actually representing the uh, uh, by 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 applying the equation number a we got here that the uh, transition is first order because this is the discontinuity going to directly zero the polarization here uh, uh, can't not varying continuously it is discontinuously varying and uh, the the transition is the first order transition as i early said that and the, those transitions which uh, which changes continuously known as the second order transitions while those are discontinuously changing uh, uh, the control parameter the control parameter is changes discontinu discontinuity discontinuously that those transitions are known as the um, uh, first order transitions we got by using the g2 in this equation e is equal to gamma of t minus t naught p as we know that the epsilon of t greater than tc uh, 1 plus 4 pi by e p this is the dielectric constant equal to 1 plus 4 pi by e p p is the polarization and e is the microscopic electric field in SI system and uh, while epsilon is equal to 1 plus 4 pi chi uh, which is the uh, uh, dielectric constant in CGS system uh, using equation B in equation C uh, epsilon of t greater than tc is equal to 1 plus 4 pi by gamma of t minus t naught in CGS system this has the form of the uh, LST relation uh, the results applied whether the transition is of the first order or the second order if t naught is equal to tc the transition is of the second order if t naught less than tc then transition is of the first order where t naught is the defined by the equation g2 is equal to gamma of t in minus t naught and t naught is the temperature at which the transition actually occurs thanks